Hi friends, today we are going to see about an important topic that is seed token. Okay, so let's understand what is seed tokens. Seed tokens is the smallest cellular seed that is recognized by the compiler. It means we have symbols or words or characters in C which are used, which specify some specific meaning to the compiler. We have to use the symbols to perform our spe uh, some specific task. So let's understand what is C tokens. It uh, consists of some words or symbols that are used in a program. And this word or symbols that we use, they have some specific meaning to the compiler. The compiler will accordingly do the task as per the symbols or the words we are using. C tokens are divided into five important categories. The first one is keywords, second is identifiers, third is constants, then we have operators and See in detail what are all these five categories of C tokens. The first one is keyword. Now, what is a keyword? It's a word, reserved word, which is used in C library. This word will have some predefined meaning to the compiler. It is used to perform some internal operation. There are in all total 32 keywords in a C programming language. All these keywords are in lower case. What are those key 32 keywords? This is a table of all the 32 keywords that are used in C language. Namely, auto, break, case, character and so on. So, all you can see all these uh, particular keywords are in small case or lower case. Let's see. This is a C, uh, reserved words which will be used in our C program to perform a specific task. Then afterwards, the next C token is identify. Now, what is identifies? It's not also a words, but these words are used to give a name to a variable or a function name. Uh, variables are used for storing some values in the program. And we can also use identifiers for giving a function name, that is the modules which we use in our C program. This variable's name or function name should be unique in a program. You cannot repeat a variable name or a function name in the same program. Say for example, if you want to name a variable in a C program, what is the format of this? Is The first one should be a keyword and then the name of an identifier or the variable name. Say for example, I have used a keyword integer and the name of an identifier is number. It means number is going to store some value and it would be of integer data type. Integer means we are going to store some whole number. Similarly, float is a keyword, character is a keyword. And these are the names of the identifier, that is value and alphabet. This tree, number, value and alphabet is going to store some values in the program. The value can be an integer value or it can be a float value or the character value. The details of this keywords we are going to see in the coming slide. Next is, whenever you want to give a name or to an identifier, you have to follow the specific rules. These are the six important rules for naming an identifier. The first one is that the name of an identifier should be an alphanumeric character. Alphanumeric means either it can be an alphabet, either in smaller capital letter or it can be a number. Also you can use a symbol that is underscore symbols in your identifier name. Other than this you cannot use any other specific symbol. The first thing Next is, the first letter of an identifier should be compulsory either in alphabet or it should be an underscore. You cannot have a number as the first letter of an identifier. So you cannot, also you cannot use any keywords in the name of an identifier. The keywords which we have seen in the previous table, all the 32 keywords like integer, while, this keyword cannot be used in identifier name. Whatever name you give to an identifier, suppose it can be of 50 characters or 100 characters, but C will take the first 31 characters of your identifier. The identifier should not have a space in between. And all identifiers are case sensitive. The capital and small name of an identifier is different in case of C language. So they are case sensitive. Say for example, I have an identifier name 
एच टी यू डी अंडर स्कोर ने इट हैज कैरेक्टर्स और इट हैज अंडर स्कोर सो इट्स अ वैलिड आइडेंटिफायर ने द नेक्स्ट इज अंडर स्कोर एक्स थर्टी आई हैव नंबर आई हैव अ कैरेक्टर एंड आई हैव एन अंडर स्कोर सो दिस इज आल्सो अ वैलिड आइडेंटिफायर ने बट इन द थर्ड केस आई हैव द आइडेंटिफायर नेम एज 14 ए बी सी द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर ऑफ एन आइडेंटिफायर इज अ नंबर दैट इज 1 So this is the wrong way of naming an identifier. Similarly, in the next one, the first character is dollar, right? Dollar symbol cannot be used in an identifier name, so it is also incorrect. My underscore choice. I did it in small letters or capital letters, and underscore is also it's a valid identifier name. Underscore five four one. I don't have any characters here, only an underscore and a number. But my first character is an underscore. and it has a number so it is a correct identifier name the last one is int as my identifier since it's a reserved word or a keyword so i cannot have an identifier name as integer so this is also a wrong name of an identifier so we have seen two tokens that is keywords and identifier